All right, welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. Uh, I don't know, that's my working title. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. I think it's pretty lame. Um, but yeah, some of you may remember me uh, back when I used to have a podcast called Bacon Live. Uh, I was obsessed about bacon with my friend, Sean. Uh, took a big hiatus after my, my first kid was born. So it's been about eight years since I did anything like this. Uh, I haven't streamed, haven't did any podcasts. Uh, but you know what? Eight years is long enough. It's, it's come back. Uh, so I'm actually going to not really obsess about bacon anymore. I'm going to maybe, you know, kind of do one of my other passions, which is board games. Uh, and more specifically, apps that are board games. I don't really have a lot of time to meet up with my friends. Obviously, the pandemic's going on, and I've been playing a lot of board games uh, on the apps recently. Uh, so I thought, you know what? I'm in this alpha for Hero Realms. Let's just try to do a new video. Maybe it sucks. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Um, Hero Realms is actually uh, near and dear to my heart. Not really because of Hero Realms, but because of Star Realms. Uh, Star Realms was an app, uh, right, a game at first, you know, a physical game that turned into an app. And me and my friends played the physical version quite a bit. And then the app came out and we played the heck out of the, the, the app version. You know, basically three of us had running games constantly with each other. Uh, just constantly playing, we would always win, and or I would lose, and they would win, and we would do like you know rematches, just constantly. I mean, probably for a year we did that, you know, for a year straight, just constantly playing Star Realms. You know, eventually got sick of it, uh, but then the Kickstarter started for Hero Realms, and I was like, damn, I got to jump into that. Uh, I love Hero Realms. I always thought it was a little bit better than Star Realms, but again, uh, you know, with the pandemic. Uh, with life being busy, I just did not have the time to really sink my teeth into Hero Realms in the physical version. Uh, so I'm really excited to get going and playing with this. Um, I've actually been playing this on my phone quite a bit. This is the first time I'm playing the Steam version. And it looks like the single player uh, progress doesn't transition between uh, desktop and app. But the online um, does transition, so that's nice. Uh, so I actually get to start over. Uh, playing through the single player uh, content that they have so far. It's not fully fleshed out. Again, this is an alpha. Um, so right now we just have versus the AI, this pit fight mode, which I don't really quite understand, and then like this free play. Um, I'm really enjoying the versus AI. What it allows you to do is actually level up a character. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click the hardest mode. And this is something I kind of missed out on. Uh, when I played the physical version is I didn't have these, um, I didn't really have the, the class, the class decks. I just had the base deck. So the base game, everyone kind of started the same. This one is asymmetrical, uh, and you can actually buy these in the physical form. I don't know if they're exactly the same. Uh, I don't know. There's a level up mechanic in this where, uh, as you win games, you get to add, different starting cards to your deck and have some some different abilities i don't think that is in the actual game but it may be because it's my understanding that in the physical game there was a co-op campaign mode um, but right now uh, this is in the the multiplayer as well where you pick a character and you can level them up i'm not sure if that's going to be in the launch version or not i do think that it would be a little weird because it would be like a win more you know play more win more kind of mechanic but, you know, it's it's not like you're paying for these cards that get added to your deck. So I guess everyone has the opportunity to play more, win more. So I don't know uh, if that really matters. And of course, there's like end game, right? Like the thief will stop leveling and then, you know, everyone will kind of be evened out at that point. So I I'm not sure. But right now, I'm really enjoying this game. And again, this is all alpha. This could all change and it probably will. Uh, but it is really polished already. Um, I'm going to start off with the thief. Uh, when I play Dungeons and Dragons... Um, the thief was always my character, the rogue, and my rogue always had a lame name, and it was Moscar. Yeah, that, that's my D&D name, if you must know. Uh, my rogue never really looked like any of these people, but I'll, I'll pick this dude with the emo haircut, because um, why not? Alright, so we're fighting a cleric first. Um, so the way this game works is it's a deck building game. You have a center row. It's kind of like Ascension. You know, you know, if you played that game or um, there's a couple other games that use this same mechanic, but there's always five cards in this by row. Uh, there's a deck where all the cards kind of come out of. 
Um, it's kind of like a shared deck between players. You have this always, this card that you can always buy, um, which is this fire gem. And when you're the first player, you only get three cards. Second player gets to draw the five cards and then you draw five cards each turn. So no matter what you use out of your hand, you discard your hand, you draw another set of five. But the first player always draws three. And what's kind of interesting with this game is that you do have these powers so this power here is a pay two gold, or sorry, acquire a card that's two uh, gold or less. Um, the first version of this is a, uh, this is a one time per game, but the first version of this is acquire an item. I think the only item card is that gem. So it kind of gives you an ability to, to grab that early. And then the next one is kind of my favorite is you tap it, you know, that's what this symbol means. So you tap it and you pay two gold and you actually gain life and you can have the, the opponent discard a card. I think this is a killer uh, ability, especially early in the game. You can kind of slow them down a little bit, may have them make some tough choices. Later in the game, this becomes less important because there is a counter to it, which is just card draw. There's a lot of cards that can draw you cards. So I feel like late game, it, it kind of means less uh, because you, you have a lot more, you have a really awesome cards in your deck by that time. Um, and plus you got all that card draw. But early in the game, I, I will try to kind of zing this at the opponent uh, relatively often. Um, but you also kind of limit yourself. You're, you're limiting yourself to gold. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. So again, this is something that is only in the Thief deck. This is the Throwing Knife. Uh, it's kind of cool. It kind of combos with, its, with itself. So as I play them, um, they're going to kind of combo and I get more attack value out of that. And of course, I'm going to play my one gold. Uh, I do have one card I can actually buy. The cost is up here in the top, which is that gold coin. So this is cost to one. And then it's going to give me in a later turn two gold. And if I play um, another blue card, it's going to give me that four damage as well, that four attack. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. I do like that card. It gives me two gold. It's cheaper than this guy over here, the fire gem. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and attack. So I can just click this attack. It's going to auto attack my opponent. And see, now I draw my five cards. So now we're waiting for um, the opponent here. Okay, now it's my turn. Uh, the animations are a little fast. So I do apologize for the opponent. Uh, but in these types of games, I really don't care what the opponent's doing. Uh, I don't do any kind of hate drafting. Um, I don't know. I just don't find it useful. I found this, these types of games or these types of deck builders are more tactile, tactical. So it's really like, what's, what did they leave me? That's really all I care about. What, what do I have left? Um, and you know, so that's what we got. That's what we're doing. Uh, I do apologize if you do hear some background noise. I, I have cats. Uh, they're still up. It's late at night, but you know how cats are. Nighttime is their time for hunting. Uh, so they're like leaping around my office right now. I have no idea what is so exciting. Um, I wish they would be watching me play this game because I think they would enjoy it, but probably not. All right, so here we go. We got some options here. So I could use all four, right, and get this awesome card here, which is this, this Smuggler. Uh, again, he's a tappable. So this is a companion. So they stay out and play until they're killed. That's what this shield is. So it means that he can take five damage, and then if they take five damage, they go back to my discard pile, but they stay out of my deck until they die. Uh, so I can tap him every turn for two gold. Uh, and then if I play another blue, I get I can trigger this ability here, which is kind of nice. It's good for comboing things. I can put the card on my deck. But I also like using this because it makes that opponent discard a card. I think early is uh, you know really punishing. And then I'm going to go ahead and buy this Intimidation, which again kind of tr triggers off my other blue card that I bought. Um, and you know, it gives me five damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. And I might wanna get a fire gem too. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. This actually gets better in higher levels, but right now uh, it kind of sucks. There's only one item I think in this game right now and it's this fire gem. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab it. Doesn't really matter when I do it. I don't, I don't think, uh, I think earlier, the better to get to use in your deck anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack. End my turn. All right, so I got the ruby. See, so the basic cards in your deck, uh, starting deck are um, like this ruby, the gold, my throwing knives. Uh, I think there's some basic attack cards as well. Um, so they're kind of the boring cards that you kind of wish you could get out of your deck. 
Um, so let's go ahead and play the throwing knife. And again, you can see as your deck gets bigger, the throwing knife doesn't combo as much with itself. Um, you know, but it, it is kind of bomby. I, you know, late game I will get a hand of all three throwing knives, and it does you know swing for some big damage. Um, so he, again, so if you look here, he has a guard, so I can't directly attack him right now or her, the cleric. So I need to kill this guy first, this follower. Because um, he has the guard ability, and that just means, hey, you can't, you can't hurt this, you can't hurt them or anything else until you get rid of these guards. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zing him out of there. I got five money, man. I really, I really, really, really would love to make him discard um, or her. Um, so I'm gonna make her discard, and man, the green. I don't really have a good strategy for green right now. I'm really kind of going with blue. I do like the green because green is always attack. It does give me a card draw if I can maybe get some synergy there. It's a guard. Yeah, why not? I, I like having guards. I think having people that they have to kind of burn their attack through is definitely, I think, better in the long run. So I, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and attack and the turn. All right, their turn, playing some gold. So they only got to play four cards that turn. Um, so. I think that was a win. They didn't really do too much. All right, so play the, the throwing dagger. Go ahead and play some profit, get some gold, play the gem. Uh, that follower's a two. I only have one attack, so I think this is a good reason to go ahead and burn. You know, with that trash can symbol means it's out of my deck now, it's, it's gone. I burned it. Um, it's no longer in my deck, but I get the value of having that extra attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and sing that guy and then her. All right, I got some choices here, and I think some of the choices are obvious. Uh, I would like to make her discard some cards. I got this big baddie right here. Look at him. Look how cool he is. He's the ogre mercenary. Six defense. Yeah. Yeah, I got to do Mmm. But smash and grab is kind of good, too, because I can pull cards out of my discard, and I can try to set up. Like it'll help me set up those dagger, those big dagger turns, the throwing, or sorry, throwing knife. Hmm. But I do like that guaranteed four, plus they have to you know burn through six damage. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I really do, I really hate playing against the guard uh, strategy. I just don't like it. Um, you know, that's where people just buy up a bunch of champions and basically make you like burn all your damage. Um, it kind of, kind of bugs me. Uh, so it looks oh, a little taste of my own medicine there. What am I going to do? Uh, let's go ahead and throw the gold out. I mean, the, right now the gold to me is like a penny. It's almost worthless. I got a two there. Um, and then that allows me to go ahead and buy some street thugs and knock out that big baddie and a little kiss. A little kiss of one damage. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. Yeah, I really wish I would have made them discard. They had gold to discard, so it wouldn't have been too punishing, but still. All right, get some defense. Go ahead and throw this stuff out. Nothing too exciting. You can draw a card, discard a card. Kind of reminds me of um, red, blue, and magic. You know, draw a card, discard a card, get two money. Uh, I think I'm going to get some life. Go ahead and make the discard happen. Because I'm kind of stalling out. I guess I'm not really great at this game. Uh, even though I played it <laughs> like a lot. I played Star Realms a lot. I never really got better. I'm just kind of mediocre. Alright, so we're going to have some pretty decent attack here. So get rid of that little follower. I feel bad beating up that poor follower. Um, hmm. Draw more. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. I think that kind of slowed them down quite a bit. And let's go ahead and I feel like this is basically the fire gem, but with an ability, but I can't trash it, but I do have some green cards that I would like to synergize and look at this, a big whopping 10 damage. All right, let's go. Oh, nice little blue synergy there. All right, there we go. Oh, I got to discard a card though. I was gonna jump on the guns, discard this penny. It's a measly old penny. And let's get that going. Okay, I got a choice here. 
Well, first, let's just get that champion out of the way. All right, do I want the gold or do I want the attack? Hmm. If I get the gold, that isn't really going to give me anything, so attack it is. Target opponent discards a card. Yeah, definitely getting that. Hopefully, I can get that green synergizing a little bit. Uh, deck's kind of getting a little diluted, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Two throwing knives. That feels good. Mm, that's a pretty good turn for him. For her. All right. Uh, let's go. Throwing knife. Throwing knife. Get the penny out there. Get that little ruby. All right. Let's think about this. Uh, well, I kind of want green. But man, that's seven. Plus stunning a champion. Hmm. And they are, they do seem to have a, a lot of champions. Uh, well, you know what? I can, I can do the two. So if I do that, I get six. All right, yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Do this for the gold. Go ahead and trigger my discard, gaining some life. And do a little, little kick to the face for four. All right, so now what? Hmm. Oh, man. Well, it's not... So the silver doesn't mean... I don't have to attack this first. I, can, I could bypass this champion. It's not a guard. Because I don't really have a big attack right now. Hmm. I could... I could... It's not going to be worth it. Ah. Uh, man. Nah, I'm just... You know what? I got eight money. I'm just going to go ahead... Give her a little kiss for one. Do that. And let's take some long, let's take some long hard thinks about this. All right, firebomb. Let's do it. You gotta get the firebomb when you got the opportunity. And let's go ahead and end the turn. All right, I'm just gonna go full on attack mode. I, ah, oh, with all these champions. All right, let's do the draw a card, discard a card. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, sweet. Yeah, get rid of the gold, AKA the penny. Get my ogre boy out there. Do a little bit of intimidation. Um, get that going, a nice little synergy there. Look at that, 13 attack. A champion shaking in his boots. Get him out of there. All right, uh, I, I, def I don't like when they stack up champions. I gotta go after them. Um, let's see. So do we do the Shaman? Well, no. Let's do this. And again, I'm kind of going for an attack. So it's kind of, I feel like blues are really showing up a lot in my deck. But let's go ahead and do a little Chef's Kiss. One damage. Ooh, okay. So that discard, I think, really did put a number number on her. But yeah, as you can see, like she still had some card draw, so it doesn't really matter. It do, the the discard doesn't really do much. All right. Um, but if I got the extra money, I, I might as well do it. Okay, so let's get these out. Do this. Okay, let's think about what we're gonna do: gold or money. Really, nothing too exciting. I think I'd rather get rid of this thing because it's gonna synergize with the red. So let's go ahead, get rid of that. Ugh. And do I do? I don't think any of these are really useful for me, except for Spark. I would really love to just skip them discarding cards. There's, there was a time in another game where I had the opponent, they literally had one card in their hand. And that, that was amazing. It felt so good. Felt so good. All right, uh, target opponent discards a card, but they're not. I don't have a green. Um, look at this. So yeah, I'm gonna good, definitely trigger that. All right, so where are we at? Don't want to do that yet. If I was that lethal, I'd probably would. But we're definitely gonna stun this champion. Get that thing out of there. I don't like it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I've really nothing better to do with that. I could bump up the four. Not really gonna do anything. So let's go ahead and do the damage. Look at that. Look at that, I'm back on top. Hmm. 
I'll take the influence because I can trash it for attack. Yeah. I'm just I'm, I'm contemplating whether to do this or not. Nah, we'll end the turn. So. All right, here we go. I got that stun. That's great. They got that guard out. This card, the measly old penny. All right. So let's go ahead and stun that. Ah! Hit the wrong button. Damn it. Oh, I can undo. Ah, I love this game. I can undo when I make a mistake. Oh, I can't do it anyway. So it wasn't a mistake. I forgot. It's a uh, triggered. All right. So I got measly two money. So let's go ahead and get that out of here. Get that out of there. Not much. Okay, good. Um, this this is going to be good. This is what I've been wanting to do for a long time. Okay, so let's just get pick one of them. Doesn't matter. They're both the same. They got twins. Look out. Alright, so... Get rid of the twin. I got 12 damage. Seven money. Mm, smash and grab looks tempting. I wish I could see what's in their deck. They have green. Okay, it does let me. They do have some yellow. So the question is, do I really want to deal with them gaining life? And so do I take that? Yeah. I think I take it and then I can trash it. So, all right. Maybe I should start trashing these cards. I think I'm gonna start. I think I need to get aggressive. Yeah, see, life gain. I'm so glad. Good thing I have a penny to discard. Okay. Let's throw these out. Um, definitely want that guy out of there. Now, if I trash this, I will get enough to get rid of that wolf. All right, I think that was good. I had to clear the board. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That gives me enough to then do that. All right, let's see what happens. Ugh, this game's going on too long. It's been a while since I played. All right, so let's get this nice green turn I'm gonna have here. So let's go ahead and throw this out so I can get some card draw. And grab a penny. I found a penny on the floor. All right, let's go ahead and draw a card, discard a card. Let's go ahead and discard the gold. Yeah, see, look, they're discarding two cards already. I might wanna just make it three. Hmm. Do I though? Oh man. This is where it gets tough. Yeah, I really feel like I just want that satisfaction plus the life, knowing that they're gonna have a crappy turn. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Alright, um, let's go ahead and clear the board. Do I trash this now? No. I feel like green's like something I wanna do. Um, hmm. Let's see, do I take this? I'm, I'm just clogging up my deck, though. My deck is getting a little fat. I got a lot of blue. I don't really have any red. Hmm. Yeah, it's like this is a tough decision, so I feel like I'm going to do that. Attack. And I think that's... Man, I still got gold left. I'll do that. It's, I, I hate, I just, I feel like I'm just clogging my deck up. It's probably a bad idea. You're probably screaming. Why are you doing that? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead. I mean, this is the hard computer. All right, firebomb. Kind of play those in a, a bad order, but whatever. Stun a champion. Yeah, get out of here. 
I definitely am going to trash this because yellow is not my strategy. Um, and look at that. I, I get this guy, which I kind of wanted. Mm. It would be nice to get some more cards out of my discard pile on the top of my deck. I do like smash and grab, but I also like you may draw up the two cards and then discard that many. They're both great cards. Probably one of them's the right choice, and I probably didn't pick it. Let's find out. Yeah, and not that it mattered. Um, yeah, that's it. I lost. Awesome. But anyway, that's how you play Hero Realms. It is an alpha. Like I said, it's for an alpha. This is very polished. Um, so if I would have won, I would have got 50 points. Um, and if you get to 100, that's when you get to level up. But... Yeah, that's where we're at. I only got 20. So even when you lose, uh, you do you do, you do get some XP. But yeah, she was really tough. Cleric was tough. Um, and again, this just really tries to kick you right into the next game. It's like, please play more. Please. Uh, which is awesome when you're playing mobile. Uh, looks like up next is the Ranger. Uh, Ranger is another one that I like. They have this bow where they kind of play the bow. And then you can play arrows to kind of build and, and combo attacks on. Uh, so this will be a fun one, but we're not going to do it today. We're going to go ahead and leave the match. And I'll be able to restart that another time. Uh, but anyway, thank you for listening. This has been uh, Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. And again, this is my first video. I don't even know if the audio was that great. Um, but eh, you guys start somewhere. Uh, but thank you for watching. If you made it this far, uh, wow. Thank you so much. Uh, maybe subscribe. Uh, maybe like this video. <laughs> you know, uh, give me pointers, give me tips, leave some comments. Like I said, this is a new channel, or not a new channel, it's an old channel, uh, but this is a, a new endeavor. So please give me some feedback. Uh, but yeah, this is Hero Realms Alpha. Like I said, this is all Alpha. It's probably going to change. But hey, maybe we can watch it evolve together on my channel. All right, well, thank you, and uh, see you next time.